Running has seen unprecedented growth in the past two decades, with the number of running event finishers increasing by more than 300% between 1990 and today. At the heart of that change is a major shift in not only the type of races being offered, but the wealth of running clubs available. And it should come to no surprise that New York City, both the largest and most pedestrian heavy city in the United States, has become the running capital of America. To get a snapshot of what New York running culture is all about, we partnered with author, gym owner, and fitness expert, Jeff Halavy to infiltrate a few running clubs and see what makes them unique. First up, we went for a run with the Reservoir Dogs, a running club who calls Central Park their home. Hey guys, I'm Jeff Halavy here for ASICS and Ask Men in arguably the running capital of the world, Central Park in New York City. I'm here to do a speed workout with the Reservoir Dogs, a New York City running team. So there's a lot of clubs that you can be all women, all male, older, faster, you know, starting out. We're not really a competitive group. We really work on uh, running together. And uh, we don't want to compete with each other. We want to help each other out and uh, learn to get faster. And over time, we see improvements in all of our runners. Everyone seems to get a little bit faster, a little healthier, and of course, happier. Next, Jeff made a trip down south to Lower East Side, where he met up with the Dashing Whippets, a running club with members participating in everything from local 5Ks all the way up to Ironmans. Tonight, I'm working out with the Dashing Whippets. I have the most dashing of the Dashing Whippets with me, Patricia. And what do you think sets the Dashing Whippets apart from every other running club in New York City? I do think that we are very organized. We are on Meetup. That's where a lot of our members um, will RSVP for runs. We did start a beer mile several years ago, and now the beer mile has taken off in popularity. Every lap, you chug a beer and the whole thing is timed. They're just endless running possibilities. So many of the people on the team work crazy full-time jobs yet still manage to train six days a week as well as have families and do other things. New Yorkers just try to, try to do it all. Now you've seen what it's like to train in New York. Next up, you're gonna see what it's like to race in New York. Naturally, after really getting a sense of what running culture is like in New York City, we wanted to get in on the action ourselves. So we partnered up with ASICS to host a series of 5K and 10K races along Short Road Park in Brooklyn. And honestly, we were blown away by the enthusiasm and the turnout. Let's take a look at how it went. I have been training all week with some of New York City's best running clubs, culminating in today's action, the ASICS and Ask Men Summer Series Shore Road 10K. So there you have it, an inside look at what running culture is all about in New York. And the great news for all you that don't live in the Big Apple is that what is happening in New York is happening all over the world right now from the creative and alternative clubs like the November Project to dedicated and inclusive clubs like the Dashing Whippets and the Reservoir Dogs, you can find a club near you almost no matter where in the world you live. Well, that was the end to a great week immersing myself in New York City running culture and a great race. Once again, I'm Jeff Halvey, and remember, don't just live, thrive.